just been feeling a bit lost. My MBTI is... I have a good feeling though. Wednesday, 3rd of April. I am back from Shanghai. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been in Shanghai for a little bit less of two weeks. And it has honestly been such a great trip for me. I just hung out with my friends in Shanghai. Literally just had the nicest break ever. I also worked a bit there. It was Shanghai Fashion Week. And if I do edit that Shanghai vlog, it will be out before this video. That's my goal today is to edit my Shanghai vlog. It's just, a, it's just been a bit hard for me to vlog and then edit them because I, I don't know. I just look at myself in the video and I'm just like, why would that? Why would I put that on the internet? It might also be because I just don't look put together in my videos ever. Even right now, having what you haven't even washed my face and my lips are purple because I haven't been drinking enough water <sighs> but yeah I'm having my morning coffee I went to the toilet already <laughs> so I'm gonna finish the rest of this it's quite early it's only 8 a.m. I am very jet lagged woke up at 6 today but I was like so tired so I just I just stayed in bed for the longest time and now I'm finally ready I wanted to journal and do my to-do list what am I doing today I have a workout class I think at 9 15 yes so I'll leave in like 40 minutes to that I usually walk to my workout class um, and I've honestly been enjoying Pilates so so much I missed it a lot when I was in Shanghai and I was looking into booking myself a reformers class in Shanghai as well but then I didn't really get the time to do that yeah Hazel wants to say hi here's Hazel she's gone so big I missed my cats so so much <laughs> I am all ready for Pilates. This is what I'm wearing. I can visibly see the results from Pilates. Like my core has been so much stronger and also my upper body as well, which are like the two main parts that I wanna work on. I've been doing Pilates like consecutively or I guess regularly since February and slow and steady have you seen results i feel like if any of you guys want to get into pilates be patient with the results um i personally feel like it's better than strength and cardio just for me just because i'm a pretty weak person i have really low blood pressure so whenever i do really high intensity workouts i end up feeling really sick and i can't like, continue about with my day even with pilates after pilates like i feel i need a second to recover anyways okay i'm heading out to meet my agent so um i put on a really simple outfit my period is coming so i'm very irritated right now i spent half an hour cleaning up the kitchen and the bathroom and i feel like my head is clearer I'm not wearing a bra <laughs> whatever but yeah i'm wearing this cardigan from house of sunny it's just a really casual look and then the jeans are my Calvin Klein jeans that I just love to wear because they're super comfortable and baggy and stylish at the same time I have a pile of stuff on the floor because I need to film a little like shopping haul Hey so! Oh she's so cute I'm really tempted to remove these boxes from my closet doors the reason I have them there is because Peanut and Hazel likes to get into the closet in the morning. They like the smell of me for some reason. I don't know. They just they just like to do that. And I don't want that because all of their fur gets stuck on my clothes. And it's just not cute. Um, these boxes have really made me hate dressing up. And like it has prevented me from doing my laundry and like putting clothes away. And, and then they just pile up on my bed. Um, I don't know if that made any sense, but long story short, I want to find a new system for that. And I don't know how to do that. I'm thinking of maybe getting new, like, handles so that this locks. So, like, I just have to, like, unlock it whenever I want to open it, if you know what I mean. But we'll see about that because I'm renting this place and I can't really just do whatever I want to the place. Um, anyways, I'm just rumbling now, but I should probably get going before I run late. Yeah. 
change of outfit because I looked too much like a man. Not that I look less of a boy right now, but I think I, this flatters me a little bit more. Um, I feel like whenever I layer a white shirt under a plain sweater, it just elevates the look so much more. It's so dark! I thought it would be spring when I came back to London, but it's not. It's still so gloomy and rainy. It's so cold as well. <sighs> this city, this country just keeps on giving me signs that I should probably not stay here for any longer. <clears throat> what do you think, Peanut? <laughs> I wish I could ride my bike, but it's too windy, too cold. I'm gonna do Burberry hair. yogurt, strawberries, blueberries, and this granola. This granola, you guys, is so, so good. I'm the type of person that hyperfixates on food a lot, and recently, it has been yogurt with fruits and this granola. I wish I could eat it all, but I don't think that's very healthy. It's 100% plant-based, and it has a lot of sugar. <laughs> Not all vegan stuff is healthy, you guys. It usually has a lot of sugar, but... That's what I made because I'm not even hungry, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a shit. I had my meeting with my agents, missed my agents a lot, I love my agents, but we talked a lot that it was very overwhelming. And if you guys know, if you guys follow me like consistently, you know that I've been going through a rough patch and I've just been feeling a bit lost and you know, post-graduated and I don't know what to do with my life. So I made a yoga bowl to not think about that and just escape from reality. Also, I got my period. So that's just all probably why. I was on the bus listening to my sad emo music and like my eyes were starting to tear up. I don't know why, but I can't cry. I don't know if it's an age thing, but I can't cry anymore. I used to cry, not a lot. I, I don't think I've ever been a huge crier. Like I know people that can easily cry. And this is also one of the reasons why I don't think I can ever be an actress because I just can't cry easily. And I think that's like one of the traits that you need <laughs> to be an actress. Um, but whenever I'm on my period, I do tend to like get more emotional and sometimes a tear or two would come out. I wish I did cry more though, cause it's good for you. Your body releases endorphins whenever you cry and it's supposed to make you feel better. I think one of the reasons why I got so overwhelmed is that we talked about a lot of like things that I can do, which I want to do, but I'm just a girl. I can't do everything. <laughs> Baby steps. The sun came out. <laughs> It's currently 4 p.m. Yep, spot on. I just got told today that I'm going to a Dior beauty screening for a documentary. I'm really jet lagged, so I hope that I don't fall asleep whilst watching the screening, like the documentary. I'm seeing some friends tonight, which is the main reason why I wanted to go because I have been gone for a while and I wanted to see people. So yeah, I could have stayed home and edited my video, but yellow. <laughs> As you can see, I have a big pile here. I'm gonna share with you guys what I got here. Guys, look at this. I got this vintage Miu Miu bag. It was only 158 pounds. I got it on Vinted and it's amazing. I really hope it's not fake. I don't think it's fake, but um, it's really cute. And it's my new uni bag. Uni bag, I don't really go to uni anymore, but you guys know that I love a big tote bag. So, yeah, it's so cute, isn't it? And it has a little lock, like, charm here that doesn't really lock. Um, there's a trend going on right now to, like, put pendants on your bag. And I actually got one in Shanghai, but I actually didn't arrive in time. 
so I'm gonna have to get new pendants and I just want to like put it all over the bag you know what I mean so proud of myself for finding this I stopped by philosophy today they gifted me a pair of shoes these are the philosophy and Malone Soulier's collab and they're the perfect summer shoes I'm going on holiday in June which I can't wait and I can't wait to vlog it and show you guys my trip these sandals and they have this little detailing here ah, I can't wait to wear them I can't wait for summer you guys I never was a fan of summer until I moved to London because sunshine and warmth has been so rare that I just I can't wait for summer I have this PR package I got some products from UK Lash I got some hydrogel eye patches and I'm really excited for the lash serum eyelash serum and I really want to try it on and see if they actually grow your lashes I got a bunch of beanies in China I don't like washing my hair so there are days where I just go with really greasy hair and like very flat hair just like today kind of like look at how cute I have this Oh, this is so cute! <laughs> Ooh, Hazel, do you like this? She likes this. Um, I love it. This is not a hat. It's more like a what do you call it? <gasps> Guys, I am obsessed. Okay, I don't think this suits me very well. And then lastly, we have this bucket hat for days where I don't wear makeup. I also got a PR package from La Prairie. Please when enclosed the new skin cover eye lift serum. This is from Longchamp. <laughs> so cute! Guys. <laughs> yeah. Hazel is getting so big. She's getting bigger than Peanut. I'm gonna clean all of this up. Say hello. Sorry. <laughs> in 20 minutes i am a little bit puffy as you can see what a surprise <laughs> i had sushi last night because i got a bit tipsy towards the end of the screening last night and i got home i watched a k-drama i'm watching queen's tears something like that you guys must have heard of it it's actually getting pretty good and then i got really hungry and i ordered some sushi and it's sunny today which is great i hope the sun lasts for a while So I just wanted to stay home but I am gonna go there for dinner I'm meeting my friend Ping for dinner so yeah also I have a call at 12 with King's College cuz I might go back to uni I don't know I'll keep you guys updated but I just wanted to let you guys know that I am exploring those options and the first step is to reach out and gather information I guess I also ordered Food. I've been obsessed with Atis. I'll show you guys later what I get. It's really bad because I also bought groceries and I could have like made a healthy bowl myself. But it's the honey chicken that Atis makes that makes me really crave it. So I did that, but it's fine. Um, money comes and goes, right? <laughs> Anyways, I'll be working for the next few hours and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm so excited. 
excited, you guys. I have tofu, I have chicken. It's just, it's great. It's amazing. It smells so good. It's a really big bowl, so I'm gonna divide it in two. I'm gonna save this for later. I'm gonna try the jalapeno, vegan jalapeno season. setting on my phone where every time I click my phone screen I get a different picture of my two kids <laughs> it's really simple all you have to do you just go to settings you go to wallpaper and then you go to customize and there's a photo shuffle option and once you click on it you can select which album not not even album it's just the phone itself the text the images for example if you put pet then it will just show up like it will shuffle all your pet pictures i vacuumed earlier and now my nose is a bit funny i'm getting a massage but i still want to do my makeup it's sunny so maybe i'll get a few pictures today i don't know i'll just do a really clean simple makeup but um sunscreen first my mbti is intj for a while i thought that i wasn't an intj um i actually redid the test very recently because i always had the feeling that i'm not an intj intjs are supposed to be very organized and very rational thinking and obviously this whole personality testing has a spectrum for example um i am 60 percent introverted and 40 percent extroverted so that doesn't really completely make me an introvert yes i need my alone time but i also do need uh some people like be around people in order to feel good but i've done the test again and i am an intj but i am an turbulent INTJ. There's two types. There's an assertive INTJ and there's a turbulent INTJ. Assertive ones are, I think, more assured of their decisions. And like turbulent, like they're more, uh, they're easily, per like they're easily affected by their emotions, I think. I don't know. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff. Um, but I do think it's a quite uh, interesting topic of conversation. I've been really liking liquid eyeshadow. This is from Giorgio Armani and I like, really like this shade because it's really natural. It acts like kind of like a contour shade and then it's really easy to blend. Just use my finger. This is the makeup for today. Super simple. I'm just enhancing my features and that's it. All right, let's go and get a massage. really tense i couldn't relax every time she would touch this part of my back my body would be like <sighs> if you guys have any tips on how to relax your muscle and like soften your muscle because i'm very tense i can feel it myself let me know in the comments hot pot again <laughs> 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 I have a 